Hi everyone, welcome to A Roll the Credits. My name is Hannah and today we're gonna do a little bit of a romantic theme to the video. Valentine's Day is on Thursday, so what better way of celebrating that than telling you my 11 favorite TV couples of all time. I mean, I may have missed out a couple of couples on this list. These are the ones that I could think of while preparing for this video. This is also a video that is to counter the amount of hate I received on last week's video when I watched Game of Thrones for the first time. If you haven't watched that video, head over and watch that as soon as you're done with this one. If you know me in my personal life, you know I'm a huge TV fangirl, that I am a ginormous TV shipper. If you don't know what shipper is, it's pretty much just someone who likes to see two people on TV get together and be a couple. That is pretty much the definition of a shipper. So yeah, these are my top 11 ships of pretty much all time. So I'm gonna insert a little bit of video for each couple and also tell you my favorite thing about them. So in no specific order, here are the 11 couples. So couple number one is one that is on my brain a lot now because I am re-watching a little bit of The Mentalist. So couple number one is Gisborne, the shipper name for Patrick Jane and Teresa Lisbon. They used to be colleagues and they still are colleagues. They used to work for the CBI and Patrick Jane came into the CBI as a consultant because he is a mentalist. And it took about six and a half seasons before Patrick Jane and Teresa Lisbon realized that they lived each other. Finally, at the end of season six, they got together in this incredible moment. I meant what I said, every word of it. Good. Because I feel the same way. Well, that's lucky. Say it again. Say what I got. The thing I love about Teresa and Patrick, that sounds really wrong, the thing I love about Jane and Lisbon is that they both trust each other so much and because they've worked together for so long and they have the whole Red John problem in front of them, they just trust each other and understand each other and they just work really, really well and they are really good friends as well and just care about each other. Couple number two, this is one of the sad ones. Juliet. Sawyer and Juliet from Lost are just fantastic. They didn't start off as being a couple, it did take a couple of seasons, but then when the island is jumping through time and they get stuck in the 70s, is it, or the 80s? Sawyer and Juliet kind of get together and start living together as the amazing couple that they are. And then in the end, obviously, Kate freaking Austin just has to ruin everything. She has a little look across the way of the hatch and Juliet sees this, gets a little bit upset. Granted, I would be upset too. And then Juliet gets stuck on a chain and the chain is sucked down through the hatch. And then we have this incredibly sad moment to just keep in our memories forever. But luckily in the series finale, we do get to see all these amazing couples reunite and be together in the way that they're meant to be. And it's just the most stunning scene that we get to see my dear Juliet in. One of the saddest, most heartbreaking moments on TV, spoiler alert, is when Will Gardner dies. The reason for this is because Willisha were so fantastic in season three and then they broke up and at, in season five they were just almost, almost getting back together but they kind of still hated each other and then Will dies. And he leaves a voicemail on Alicia's phone and she never gets to know what he wants to say. And it's just so freaking 
heartbreaking we deserve better but we did get this amazing scene when they first get together at the end of season two and will gardner is about to spend eight thousand dollars on a hotel room just so he can sleep with alicia isn't that romance the presidential suite but that's 7800 a night Number four and one of the most frustrating on-screen couples to have ever existed thanks to the writer Chris Satan Carter. Mulder and Scully from The X-Files kind of started the entire shipper thing and the entire online fandom wanting two characters to be together. They don't even have a proper shipper name. Their shipper name is MSR which means Mulder Scully Romance. It's a long heckin story. So they kind of just work together for a really long time and then they share a kiss at New Year's and then they have like certain moments just like do we love each other blah blah blah. They don't really have relationships with other people but they constantly work together and then eventually Scully's pregnant and it's Mulder's baby. Mulder's kidnapped, Scully gets continues being super pregnant and then Mulder comes back and then she has a baby and then Mulder is gone again amazing mother's fucking gone again we just have to live with the fact that scully has a baby with Mulder, and then she gives the baby away because the baby's in danger and then end of season nine is pretty dang fantastic i mean Mulder and scully do ride off into the sunset as the couple that they are and by ride out in sunset i mean cuddle in a motel bed and then in the i want to believe film they are living together and then they're together at the end of the film and then when we pick up in season 10 they're fucking estranged again oh, chris carter just did not give them justice but we did get this fantastic scene that just proves that love truly does exist even when the world is falling apart you are my Another sad one and the first couple from Grey's Anatomy that I'm going to mention and it isn't even one of the big couples. Teddy Altman and Henry Burton is probably one of the saddest doctor-patient couples that we have. Teddy marrying Henry so that he can have some health insurance to save his life is one of the most romantic gestures on Grey's Anatomy. Henry comes in, he's a patient, he's got heart problems, he marries Henry so that he can take part of her health insurance and in that way save his life but unfortunately as it is Shondaland no one can be happy now can they so Henry ends up in the kitchen vomiting blood he ends in hospital Christina well oh, my dear Christina is operating on Henry without knowing that it is her mentor's husband he dies the scene when Teddy goes into the OR and sees Henry dead is just the most heartbreaking shit I've ever seen. Let's move on to some little happier notes. We're gonna talk about my first ship that I've ever had before I even knew shipping was a thing. Piper and Leo from Charmed. Let's talk about the cutest couple on TV ever. Piper and Leo were M-F-E-O. I'm just like, there's a little glitch. There's a little glitch in like season seven, something like that, when they kind of break up and kind of he's an elder and shit like that like that's not my favorite bit of a relationship but they're just so freaking fantastic and i just love them so much so yeah the first time they kiss is probably one of the cutest scenes ever so why not watch that oh what the hell leo how do you feel about women who make the first move i don't know i'm still waiting for it to happen goodness <laughs> We're going back to Shondaland, but we're not going to Grey's Anatomy. Instead of we're going to LA 
and we're going to private practice. Here, there are so many freaking amazing couples, but we're gonna talk about my favorite shark coop, which is Charlotte Kate and Cooper Friedman, the couple who met on an online dating site and then ended up having triplets. They go through so many amazing things and so many heartbreaking things, but they still end up prospering and getting through it. And it's just one of the most inspirational couples on TV, ain't it? They just deserve all the happiness that they got in the end. And I'm just so happy they exist. Staying in Shondaland on, on the roller coaster that is Shondaland, we're gonna talk about the most iconic couple on TV, Meredith. Meredith and Derek. I mean, who hasn't loved Meredith and Derek? I mean, did you even watch TV back in 2006 if you didn't even fancy Derek Shepard? My love, my true love, Derek Shepard. May he freaking rest in peace. Derek Shepard dying at the end of season 10, 11. That was heartbreaking. Like honestly, I was grieving for about two weeks. <laughs> but yeah, Meredith and Derek, they are just the most iconic couple. They're kind of like, they set the precedence of what a TV couple should be, especially when Meredith was stood in the scrub room saying, pick me, choose me, love me. So pick me, choose me, love me. I'll be at Joe's tonight, so if you do decide to sign the papers, meet me there. One of the purest couples on TV, I know I said this about Piper and Leo, but on Madam Secretary, one of the most underrated TV shows on this planet, we have Henry and Elizabeth McCord. They've been married for 30 years, she's a Secretary of State, he's an ethics professor, and together they just form the heart of the show and they are so freaking cute. Henry and Elizabeth are just like that perfect couple that we all aspire to have in our relationship. Truly trust each other, understand each other, and allow each other to be who they are without hating or causing any stupid drama. And as always with all the other couples, we're gonna show you one of my favorite scenes of Elizabeth and Henry. You're a good man. I need you to be my touchstone. I, to tell me if I'm crossing lines. I'd quit this job in a heartbeat if it threatened what we have. It's not gonna happen. But if you're asking me to be the man beside the woman, I'm in. The man beside the woman? Yeah. Now we're gonna go to one of the best TV shows to have ever been made. Three amazing seasons of The Newsroom and we also got the best couple, Will and Mac. So before the show begins, they used to be boyfriend and girlfriend until Mac cheated on Will with her ex-boyfriend. As time goes on, Will kind of still hates her. She kind of still hates him but is also in love with her and he's in love with her and she's in love with him and by the end of season two, the most amazing proposal of all time. So let's watch that. And no matter what you say, I'm gonna be in love with you for the rest of my life. There's no way out of that. That's just a physical law of the universe. You own me. No matter what you say, yes. I will never stop. Yes, I'm saying yes. You're saying yes. <laughs> yes. So yeah, those were my top 11 TV couples of pretty much all time. Kind of realize that they're all heterosexuals, but I also don't watch a lot of TV shows that don't have non-heterosexual couples. I'm sorry about that. I should get better on doing that. But yeah, that is the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I make videos every Saturday all about film, TV, and pop culture, so make sure you subscribe if you want to see more of that. And if you didn't see last week's video where I watched Game of Thrones for the first time, go over there, watch it, read the comments, and see why I'm watching Game of Thrones next week. That's the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a comment down below who your favorite TV couple is, and I will see you again next week with a new video. Until then, I don't know, roll the credits. <laughs>